What up, WR, it's Colt. Check out what has just arrived at flat four. A 1997 Impreza WRX STI Type R8. Let's go check it out. Here it is. Colt, what's up? Woo -hoo. There we now, go. I just want to point out the uh, t-shirt. The How <laughs> good. How nice is that? And of course, you can get them, and I'm putting the link in the description so you can order your very own flat four. Version 3 R8 shirt. Sick. How good. <laughs> All right. Listen, guys, the, the story is I've just, as you know, a, a week or so ago, I got the import of the, uh, the two-door version 6 uh, Type R from Japan. Then what happened was Kyle then said, look, Matt, I've just found this version 3. It's at the auction, and it's absolutely Mickey Mouse. Do you want it? No, first off, I said I want it. Oh, that's but I can't right. afford it right now. So then I said, do you want it? <laughs> do you want it? Do you want and, it? And uh, so I had a look through the, through the pictures and what have you, and, uh, and the short version is a uh, yes. I said, I do want it. I do want it. So I want to bring you guys in and let's have a full tour. This is the first time I've seen this car. Um, as you can see, Kyle has not touched it. It's got all the crap all over it as it, as it comes off the truck, uh, the boat, the truck, the everything, all the way from Japan. So let's go through a full in-depth look at this Type R8, You're gonna make the right Type R8. All right, let's do it. All right, Carl, let's do this. Let's um, let's go through this car. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I've actually never. Let me bring you in the shot there. Um, I've actually never sat in the R8. Uh, interestingly enough, out of all of the WRXs I've had over the you know couple of decades, never I've, sat I've never sat series one in GTA. a series one. You know, with this, I'll just show you the guys here with Kirby, this. Kirby Dash Crew. Yeah, look at that. And of course, the first thing you notice is um, this absolutely beautiful Nardi steering wheel with the STI logo in there. Um, now, Kyle, am I right to say that this is the same Nardi steering wheel that's in the 22B? In the 22B, it sure is. I'll just, um, we'll just send that up. Yeah, make and it look take, pretty. And take a look at that. So yeah, that is the same steering wheel that is uh, featured in the 22B. So. And look at the condition of it too. This is amazing. Now, how many Ks on this car? Let's have another look. Uh, 86,000. 85,053. Wow. Unbelievable. And look at this. You know, sometimes you get that fraying and uh, what have you. But um, this one is looks, looks like it's just come off out of the showroom. Actually, let's have a look at the gear shift. This one is actually a little bit the worst for wear. Um, I've never seen it come through the leather completely there, but that's okay. I've got, a, I've got a, another STI gear to work and replace it with anyway. But overall, oh, check this out, Kyle. I note this as well. Now, I actually knew this anyway because I have seen the pictures, but you can see here this one has the radio delete. So, Kyle, for those people who don't know about the RA, i am yep. bring it back in the shot again. Why did Subaru make these cars? So they took a version 3 STI of the era and they said let's make it just that little bit more radical. I just want to say I've actually got a beautiful shot here with you, the two-door and, and the uh, RA. Okay, all, going. All the shot, <laughs> <Keep> yeah. Going. <laughs> so yeah, they took the, the version 3 STI and they, um, they said let's make it a little bit more radical and let's put a lot of the rally um, uh, provisions that they used for the rally cars back in that era. So. It was a road-going STI with some of the really nice rally um, heritage in it, mm -hmm. and it was essentially a race car for the streets. So when, you, when the, you say it added some things, and I think what you meant is it deleted some things. Yeah, yeah. It, and it, like, I like you know, you see those Porsches. Delete, yep. They delete everything in the Porsche, but then it's like another two hundred grand more. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Same scenario. So um, the biggest thing is weight in these things. Yeah. The weight stripped out. All the luxuries stripped out. Some of the major things, obviously the roof vent. Yeah, the let's top, go have a look at that. Very, very rally esque. Now keep in mind, I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's gonna clean up really nice. Yeah. So we've got the manual roof vent on there, which is operated by control on the uh, roof lining there. Mm -hmm. We have windy windows. Mm. So you pay more and get less. So they've got windy <laughs> windows on it. We don't have any electric mirrors. These are all operated really? by push and touch. Not even the little toggle. No, no, the little. No, you pushed in there. You'll notice there's no clicking. You know when you. Yeah, yeah. There's no clicking in that. They're all. So it's actually running. toggle delete too. That's a it. Everything delete. delete. Yep. So we don't have any side skirts. 
you notice oh, yeah. as well, there's no side skirts on this. And also the um, the rear quarter as well. The, yeah, the rear skirts. There Just is there. mud flaps. Jeez, I don't know what, they should have deleted them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take them off. So look at these rims here. Now these, I know, uh, are not original, right? They came out with chromies, didn't they? Yep. Okay, they look good in the black though. Yep. Delete the rear wiper. Rear wiper see. is gone, that is non-essential. Mm -hmm. So we have quick rack steering in these. 2.25 turns to the lock. Oh, the original mats, beautiful. This is something you never see, is this little clip. <laughs> They're always missing. Wow, this is really, really nice. I cannot wait to get my toothbrush uh, into this car. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Decals in good condition too. Sometimes they're quite um, they sun damaged, yeah. yeah. So that's really nice. Of course, the most important sticker, still intact. So there's no central locking in this either, so every door needs to be locked. Okay. <laughs> We're going right back to the 80s. 80s, yes. As I'm taking you through this inspection, guys, this is the first time I've actually laid, uh, laid eyes on it as well, except for some of the photos that came through uh, from Japan, from the guy over there who originally did an assessment on the car. And in those pictures, it looked really good. But this one's still got all the grime and what have you as it came in from Japan, which is totally fine because I'm going to attack it. It's a good, not too much fading in the, in the red light. When I showed you guys the other day, the, the two-door STI had, had a fair bit of fading in that red. Dash is in incredible condition. There's the radio delete there. Another weight saving measure. So obviously no, no um, speakers. I, I can see here Kyle actually has speakers. Um, Looks like he does have speakers in there. Yeah, I know there's a little bit of purple through there, so. It's a bit weird. They might have, uh, Maybe they would if have you put want... aftermarket speakers in here for some reason. Maybe they put the speakers in there in case you had the. Out of the radio in. Maybe. Oh, I see. oh yeah. Can't forget this little STI decal. So, Kyle, what. As we have a look at this engine, what has um, been modified in this car? From factory? Yeah, do you know? There is a, a Lawn Sport Rally WRC replica exhaust on it. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's remind un... me, we'll start that up. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll start it. it up. So it's an unconventional looking thing, but it's, uh, it produces that awesome, awesome uh, WRC inspired uh -huh. Subaru note. Uh, but engine wise, no, nothing's been touched on this. It is all original. Uh, we do have some aftermarket shocks in it. They're not coilovers, they're just aftermarket adjustable shocks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, this intercooler is in incredible condition, yeah. isn't it? For its age. Wow, well, standard peeling. Awesome. Yeah, it's got the factory fitted uh, peeling manifold. Uh, this looks in incredible condition. This is yep. the, um, the radio. Yep. So I dare say that would have been replaced at some point, so. Because you usually see a lot of corroding. Yeah, well, we saw that on the two door. You know, it had the yeah. you know the, the sort of surface rust and stuff on top of it. Let's just have a look at the front here. There's a bit of wear there. Let's see the deck here as well. Um, again, I haven't touched this with a cloth at all, so all the grime on it is as it had, as it's come. All we right. do have the, uh, the intercooler sprayer oh, yeah. under here as well. All right, well, let's hear it, Kyle. Start, start it up. I'll, I'm going to jump so out the back. the back and I'll, I'll start it up. Yeah, you start it up. I might just take a shot just quickly before I do that of underneath. Because I did see the pictures already and uh, it was in really, really good condition. Look at that. Just like no rust at all. All right, ready? All right, let's do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds really good. Really good. So what exhaust did you say that was? Lord's Ford. So it's a Lord's okay. Ford WRC replica. Okay. Um, so they are available through Flat 4 as well. Oh, you can get them? We can get those exhausts, yeah. So we're the Lawn Sport distributor in Australia, so okay. those exhausts are available. And they're a nice sounding exhaust too. Yeah. Really nice. Very throaty. What else do we need to talk about? Black door handles. Yeah. Black mirrors. That was a, that was a paint delete. <laughs> that was a paint delete. Paint is weight. Yeah, so that's right. I wonder, out. do you know if they actually did do less paint on these cars? Yeah, they were. They were a lot of paint. That sort of continued all the way, all the way through the RA range. Uh, I right. noticed with my bug eye RA that we had in the shop here, yeah. the paint was super thin and my detailers weren't very happy with that at all. Okay. So they um, they made sure they let me know that they yeah, did the a paint hand polish. is really, really thin on them. So. Okay. Yeah, what else? Um, oh, let's, let's just go back into the interior. I, yeah. I, um, I've just seen this, which I may not have shown the guys here, which is this. A uh, little turbo, um, yeah, the boost cage. I squeeze myself in. Yeah, that's cool. It's got the original Japanese dust in here as well. All in all, Kyle, look really happy with this condition. It, it is quite incredible. So I'm going to um, give this a clean up and uh, let's get some shots of this, this from here. I should post some still shots in. Uh, for you guys in the thread, and how nice is that look? Beautiful. All right, guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to be uh, giving you a play-by-play -play as well as I detail. Uh, and just so you know, too, I'm not going to be uh, modifying this car. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that for the uh, for the two-door that's over there. This one I'm going to keep pretty Original. much as is. Yeah. yeah. And you made a promise to me that you won't modify it. That's right, because <laughs> you'll be jealous. Yes. No, because you love this one so I much, I love right? the, yeah, the version 3s have got a very soft spot for me. I had one um, not so long ago, so I love driving that one. So yeah. getting back into this and, uh, yeah. Just I said to Kyle, if anything, I might put some rims on it. Yeah, I'll let that pass. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep the exhaust on it. Yeah. Sounds awesome. All right, guys, thanks so much, Kyle, for getting uh, for importing this one for me. Really appreciate it. No and uh, if anyone else wants to get their own car imported or they can check out the other cars that Kyle's importing now on a regular basis, they can just follow the link that's in the description. All right, guys, take care. Peace out. See you later.